Hey everyone, this is Max Edson, co-founder of Price. I'm going to walk you through our analysis results page today. So great, you did your search and now it's time for the results. So as you can see, we have a nice layout of a table down here that provides you all the results that meet your criteria. And I'm going to go through a walkthrough from left to right, show you the details of each column, what do they mean, and so you can get a better understanding of everything. So first off is our rank column. And that's just how we do our initial ranking. I'll show you how to change and sort by different means. but our rank is composed of two different parts. So the first one is the macro side of things and the second one is the micro side of things. So the macro part uh, takes into account a ton of different economic factors that come into play within that county. So if I click the check mark, uh, you'll see that this box pops up where you can see the actual rankings of the county that you're searching. So this one, you can see natural amenities, per capita, unemployment, and the overall score is 273 out of 3,144 counties. So that's one part of the ranking system. Now, if you're searching one county in particular, how do we rank those rows uh, if we're searching the same county? So what we do on the second part in that micro look, we're looking at all the price variations between each row. And what I mean by that is, so we're looking at the comps. You can see there's 251 comps here. And we're looking at the price variation from for, sold and, for sale and sold properties between the acreage range of 20 and 24.99. And that's ranked against all these other ones. So this had the lowest price variation. And as you go through, it's going to have a higher price variation moving forward. So it's not saying that this uh, the first rank is going to be a better place to mail than the second. What it's more showing and telling you is that it's we have a greater confidence in our pricing itself uh, to give you a better understanding of what that means. And so that's kind of how our rank works. And then the second part is the data tree parcel count. So this is as if you went into data tree, uh, you did the get count click, and now you can see how many records you can actually download. So for this first row, San Bernardino County, California, 20 to 24.99, you can see that we can download 5,923 records in that. So that's all that that rank is showing you. And as you click the check mark for the ones that you want to download, you'll notice that our total records goes up. So you can see that this will mirror this since it's only one check. Now if I went down, let's say the third row, you can see that they also move up. And so this will be the aggregate total that you're going to download. And then this is going to be your total cost involved with all the records you're going to download. Okay, great. So we have the rank, data tree, parcel count down, now the total comps. So this takes into account for sale and sold comps within that acreage range and that search criteria. So in this instance, San Bernardino County, California, and then again, their acreage range 20 to 24.99. Just to give you a good idea of the coverage that we have in that area. And then on to the next column, we have parcels on market ratio. Now, what this is showing you is how many of those records, the 5,923, are actually on sale right now, uh, listed on the market. So what it is, it's a simple equation of all the four sale comps in that section, and we're dividing it by the total parcel count. And so you can get a good idea of how many uh, parcels are actually listed on the market at any given time. So obviously, lower is probably better because you're competing against less parcels, and so when you go to sell, your parcel stands out more. Um, then after that, we have the San Bernardino County that will tell you if they're searching multiple counties, you'll see all the different names listed here. Uh, then state, obviously that's San Bernardino County is in California. The acreage range, 20 to 0 .0, the 24.99. And you'll see that we round to 0.99. And what that's for is so uh, we don't want to overlap rows. And so if we're looking at different consecutive acreage ranges, we want to make sure that we're taking uh, the right the counts into um, account here. And so we're not overlap or overlapping anything and you know exactly what you're getting out of it. And I can show you how to change that in another video later, but uh, that's how we have it. And if you want just 25, that's, we can change that too with the acreage rank command on the search page. Uh, but after that, we have the offer price per acre. And now this is the actual offer price that we're going to be showing during this row. Uh, so you can see for this, this area, our offer price right now is $227.90 per acre. Now, this is defaulted at the 30% level. You can see that right here, but if you like it less or you like it more, it's really as easy as going left or right on our slider bar here. So if you want 18%, if you want 52%, it's you can move that to however you like, whatever your preference is, and you'll notice that the offer price per acre has now changed throughout the entire list of rows that we provide you here. So that's a really cool feature. And then you can see just to the right is our market price per acre. So this is what we deem as the market price per acre in this row for 20 and 24.99. Um, and then that 25%, how we have it right now, 
uh, is based off of this market price per acre. So you can check that as well. So it's just 25% off, which is 189.91. Now, a cool feature that we added is, okay, how do I check for reason? Uh, and how we show you to check for reason is this for sale and sold comps button. And you just wanna make sure that you're in the right area. So if I check this box, uh, you wanna see and verify 20, 24.99, 20, 24.99, and you can click this and all the comps will show up in this box. And so you can look, make sure that everything is turning out well, and you can make your decisions based on this. And let's say uh, you like this pricing as you're going through, um, and then you find this one, let's say it's a little off. This box right here will give you even further customization on a per row basis. So if you wanted to change this instead of 151, let's say you wanted 137, we could even add some cents in there, 34 cents. All I gotta do is click update, and this row specifically has changed while all the other ones have not. So this gives you further customization on a per row basis. This adjust offer percent bar, this will give you the change on all the result, results. So this is all results. This one's on a per row basis for if you want specific ones. So if, if you like specific prices for each row, you can keep clicking this one, make sure that 35, 39.99, 35, 39.99, you're on the right one. Uh, and it's really as easy as coming in here typing in whatever price you want, clicking update, verifying it, and you can see that there. Um, and so let's say that you did that and you actually wanted the results from before. So you, what you can do is come up to the slider bar. If you like the 25%, just go left or right, come back to that value, and all the offer prices will adjust again. So it will erase everything. This, is, this trumps all, so if you add anything in here and you don't like it, you can just erase it by coming up here and we'll uh, revert back to whatever value that you have in there. So, and then once you're okay with everything, it's really just about clicking the ones that you like, uh, making sure that you like the total, the total cost in there. Um, let's say um, another feature is you want to sort by a specific type of column. So let's say you want to do acreage load high. I can see all the acreage ranges load high wherever I'm looking. And if you forget what you searched actually, in the top right corner in the drop down, you see your exact search parameters as well. So instead of going back to the search page, you can look at them right here, making sure that it's exactly what you want. Say okay, uh, and now you're back in here. You can see everything you want. Uh, let's say I want to search by parcel count, load high. You can do that. And once you're ready, continue and go on to the next page.